Happy lunch hour, gang. All right. First rule of prepping. Never talk about your prepping, right? <laughs> Unless, of course, you're on YouTube. You don't have a choice. Second rule about prepping. Never show anybody your preps, right? Okay. But what if you don't have a choice? What do you mean, what if you don't have a choice? There's an interesting story coming out of uh, Southwest Florida this week. Apparently, Citizens Insurance, which is the largest home insurer in Florida, 1.4 million house households, has decided they are going to do a mandatory inspection of somewhere around 300,000 of their customers. Yeah. And this isn't give you a couple of weeks notice from the information they are Calling you up on Tuesday, saying we're coming and showing up on Wednesday. Got to thank Robert for tipping me off on this story because this one is very worrisome. Now imagine somebody knocks on your door, says, hi, I'm your insurance company. I'm here to check out your house. Fine. Walk around outside, right? Okay. They're going to start taking pictures. They're going to look at everything, whether you've got Gardens, water containment, solar, whatever you have. And then the guy comes up and says, well, I need to come inside too. And I'm going to poke my nose around everything you have. Your food storage. Oh, you have a gun safe. Oh, you have solar generators. Oh, you have this. You have that. You have all sorts of stuff that I don't normally see in people's houses. Mm -hmm. Taking pictures, writing all this down. We all know that the government has access to all insurance information. Okay, They want to know because most of the time your insurance company is selling off parts of your insurance policy to another company, to another company. It's called co-insurance. Okay. It's how they reduce their risk. And that's all managed by the government. Okay. Imagine somebody coming through your house and wanting to see all this. Okay. Now, of course, the way the article is written and you know, talking to the people just like everything else. Oh, there's nothing nefarious going on around here. We're trying to see if we can save you money. Anybody believe that? Okay. Their answer, 42% of the people that we've gone and looked at their houses, we've actually reduced their home insurance premiums. Okay. What about the other 58%? Oh, theirs either stayed the same or went up. Okay. We don't know. We don't have any figures on how many policies they canceled. How many times have you gone into the doctor's office and as they're going through, are you feeling any pain lately? Is everything okay? Are you eating all right? Are there any guns in the house? You've all had that question, be it the doctor's office, be it the dentist, dentist's office. Like my dentist has any reason whatsoever to know, or my doctor, whether or not I own a gun. Okay. Oh my God, doc. You know, my tooth hurt so much, I was suicidal. Really? Okay, no, sorry. But this is how they try to spin it, how to play it. We're doing you a favor. When have you ever known, ever in your life, a company come up and say, we want to do this for you so we can make less money? Right? Ever? No. Okay. You know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. You know, hey, we're putting all this stuff on sale. And you think, cool, look at this. We're going to wind up making, uh, we're going to save some money. Do you think the company's going, gee, you know what? We'll lose money today. No, they're just going to make less. I mean, that's, that's all it is, okay? How many of those prices are marked up to come back down? You know, talk about some of the stores. Everything in the store is 50% off. No, it's not really. You can put whatever 
ridiculous price you want on something and then say, normally a hundred dollars, now only 50. And you look at this thing and go, it ain't worth 20. Okay. They can ask a hundred. Nobody wants to pay that. So they'll ask 50. Okay. 50% off means nothing. It's they're still doing it. There's not a company out there that's going, Hey, you know what? In your best interest, we're going to do it. What are they trying to do? Well, they're trying to reduce their risk. That's what they're doing. They're going through people's houses and going, oh, you put in a wood stove. That means your house has a higher chance of burning down now. Oh, you installed a fireplace. Oh, you installed solar. Oh, you have guns in your house. Pick something, okay? What you're doing to protect yourself, they're looking as either they can charge you more for having, or they can cancel you all together. Now, most people in this country have a mortgage on their house. Therefore, in your mortgage, you're required to carry insurance, right? Mm -hmm. I mean... Even if you don't or have a mortgage, it's still foolish not to have insurance on in your house. Let the postman slip on the stairs real quick and hurt himself. And guess who's liable for his injuries? Not the government, you. Okay. You know, let anything happen. Let, let some guy who's walking his dog in your yard trespassing and he slips and falls and busts a hip. Who's liable? You are. He's trespassing, but you're still liable because he got injured on his property. Okay. So yes, having insurance is very important. But now you look at what they're trying to do. You know, citizens insurance in Florida, I'm betting you're going to no doubt reduce some of your risk because anybody who has an insurance company come in and say, we want to inspect your house. I'm calling and looking for a new insurance company. Yeah, you know what my house is worth. Okay. You can look that up online real easy. Go to the tax assessor's office and look and see what the house is worth. You don't need to know what I have in the house. As long as I'm doing nothing illegal, you have no right to invade my privacy. What I do behind the four walls of my house is my business and nobody else's, provided it's legal. And last time I checked, having a wood stove is legal. Having solar is legal. Owning guns is legal. But don't tell me they're coming in because they want to look and see how updated your plumbing is or to make sure that your electrical outlets are good. That's not what they're doing. They're coming through your house to look and say, well, gee, you know what? It's still four walls. It's still a ceiling. It's still a floor, just like it was originally when we insured the house. But what else is in here? How can we raise their rates or how can we drop them all together? Because it might affect our bottom line. Don't ever think that these insurance companies, that you're tied to them. When, when any company oversteps their bounds, I don't care if it's the hardware store, the grocery store, your doctor, your bank, your insurance company, when they overstep your bounds, you have the right to fire them. Oh, I will be canceling my policy as soon as you walk out the door. Well, why are you doing that? Because you have no legal right to invade my privacy. And as long as we stand up to this, to them inventorying what we have in our house, because that's all this is, guys. Don't let them tell you otherwise. When we tell them, sorry, you can... You knock on my front door. We're coming to uh, do an inspection of your house. Don't bother. Come tomorrow. 
you won't be my insurance company. That's the way it works. That's the way it should work. Make a couple of phone calls, get online, call up, I don't know, Allstate, State Farm, Farm Bureau, Farmers, whoever it was. There's plenty of insurance companies out there who'd love to have your business. Citizens in Florida, you doing this, it's going to bite you in the ass. And I hope to God you fall apart and well out.